Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Kazim from DragonDogger.com and today we are going to unbox the Champion Series gaming chair from Even Racing. Now this is a huge box so I didn't have a big enough table for it so we have it on the floor. The package is about 23 kgs in weight so you might see me struggling with the parts sometime as I'm not a heavy weight lifter. That can also be just by my appearance in the video. So let's go ahead and unbox this stuff. So the box was tape which I cut before the video with a scissor and opening the top reveals a huge cardboard sheet and beneath that sheet is the 5 star base for the chair. The base is covered with bubble wraps for dust protection and after removing the plastic you can notice that the edges have rubber parts for some reason and in between we have a hole where the chair will fit. So removing the next sheet, we can see all the parts separately placed in the box. No special housing or something like that here, but nothing was damaged during the shipping, I've checked it before. So this is the top of the chair. I've received the chair in black and blue color to match my uh, setup's LED, but they're also available in different, uh, different colors and design. As you can see, it's also covered in plastic for protection from dust. Also visible is the waist cushion that I have a feeling will be really awesome to have. And just above the waist cushion, we have the headrest. Both the waist cushion, the headrest and the top of the chair have even logo embroidery on them. Next we have the middle part of the chair where you will be sitting. It has armrest on each side pre-installed so you don't have to go through the assembly. Once again covered in plastic for dust protection. Then we have these things here that attaches to the top body. One's attached to a lever while the other one's free. And finally we have the accessory box, it's pierced from one side but that's not damaged, it's just how it's packed. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at everything. So back to the 5 star basement, you'll need to take these bubble wraps off first. This is where the body will be installed and supported from. Once again the rubber edges, probably for keeping your feet on it. Then this green circle cut here for the body installation. This is how it looks from below, not as polished as the top. This is where the PU caster goes and the rubber edges are attached via two screws on the base. This is where you're gonna be sitting. It's a combination of fiber leather above and cold cure foam beneath. Same material on both sides in the middle. Then we have this blue design it's stitched right onto it. And these arm pads are made with soft PVC material. Now the arm pads are adjustable. I mean they can be lifted or lowered. All you got to do is press this thing here upwards and you can adjust the height. Leave that part and it will stay in that position. So here's a side view of the base and the adjusting mechanism of the armrest. Then we have this lever mechanism for the top adjustment as that can be tilted towards the back to a full 180 degree flatness but it requires a lot of pressure in the current situation so let's just leave it like that. Here is the other side view of the base. We have the same armrest adjustment system here. Then we have this part that goes to the top body. It doesn't require much force to move. So that's about it for this side. Let's move to the bottom. This is how the bottom looks. The leather top is actually a single piece coming over from top and it's held in position with hooks like these. Then we have four screws here for the armrest. As you can see it can be moved a little towards the outside by unscrewing the screws. Elastic straps for some reason. From this angle you can see that the arm pad is attached via two screws to the armrest. So that's it for the base. Let's move to the top body. So that's the top body of the chair. As mentioned earlier, we get one headrest and one waist cushion along with the chair. Both the headrest and waist cushion have even logo embroidery on them and they're both using elastic straps so they can be adjusted position wise as well. Then we have the blue strip on the top, the waist cushion and the headrest to match the blue black theme. The middle of this part is flat but we have some side cushions to cover the body completely for max comfort. The back of the top body is plain and it's in black color. Nothing special here but you can see the buckle straps for the headrest and the cushion here. So you can take them off from here. Here's a look of the front without the headrest and the waist cushion. Now let's take a closer look at the add-ons. Both the waist cushion and headrest is made up of the same fiber leather and cold cure foam combination. 
they're really soft as you can see I can press them without much effort the headrest along with the cushion also features a buckle lock but unlike the headrest we have something different on the back of the waist cushion we have a zipper here which means you can actually take out the foam from the inside and wash the leather which cannot be done with the headrest also the same buckle system and a large elastic strap for position adjustment From this side you can see the two screws that you'll need to take out for installing the top to the base. So this is the accessory box. It's taped so you need to cut it open. Once again I went with the classic scissor way. You can use any tool. So first of all we have this cylinder type of thing with caps. Let's take them all out. After taking off the plastic, you'll realize that it's the gas lift system the chair is using for height adjustment. It presses from here, some kind of lock here. I guess these caps go somewhat like this. Well, I'll show you the correct way in the next video where I'll assemble the whole chair together. Then we have these five view casters for the chair. It's painted in black and blue color. This steel part goes into the five star base. It's also very smooth and not much friction required to roll, but it doesn't have any brake system. Then we also get a pair of large sized hand gloves for the assembly. It's really nice to have a pair of these as you're surely gonna get your hands dirty during the assembly. Then we have this rail that goes beneath the lower body of the chair, the gas lift cylinder attached here. It also has four screw holes on the corner, the, then this cut here for the gas cylinder. This lever here will be interacting with the gas cylinder. Then we have this giant tilt tension adjuster here as well. You rotate it to increase or decrease the pressure required to tilt the chair. Then the hole for the gas lift and the lever. It has instruction here on how to use it. Then we have a plastic bag, it contains the side cover for the top tilting bars or whatever they're called. Here's a better look outside the plastic. It's tightened via one screw on each side. And then we have the Allen key and three compatible screws. Apparently the Allen key doesn't fit the screws as they're somewhat small. I'll figure out what's up with them later in the assembly video. And then we have the installation instruction. It has around 9 pages in I think Chinese language and 9 pages in English language. So that's it for the unboxing of Event Racing Champion Series cheer. I'll be doing a complete assembly video shortly so don't forget to check that out. And if you want to buy the cheer right now you can do that by going to www.eventracing.com and get $80 off of your purchase by using our special discount code which is Dragon, spelled D-R-A-G-O-N. And even is also providing worldwide free shipping, so don't miss this opportunity. Ahmad Kazim out.